million people in Southern California now ordered to cut back on using water. The region is facing a historic, severe drought. Officials there just declared a water shortage emergency for the first time ever. According to these new restrictions, people can water outdoors just one day a week. It applies to parts of Los Angeles, Ventura, and San Bernardino counties. The restrictions begin June the 1st. The water supplier in the region reports if cities don't enforce it, they'll face hefty fines. Record drought is straining water systems all across the southwest. And now officials say it's also threatening one of the region's biggest sources of electricity. CBC's Valerie Castro live at Lake Powell near the Arizona-Utah border. Valerie. Shep, Lake Powell is the second largest reservoir in the country, and 40% of the water here is supposed to end up in the L.A. Basin in California. But check out the water level behind me. The top of that white line in the canyon there, that's where the water used to reach when the lake was at capacity back in the 1980s. The dam behind me relies on that power to generate electricity, but now that production is in danger. Years of drought have left boats high and dry over Lake Powell near Page, Arizona. City utility manager Brian Hill stunned by the sight of a dock now dangling in the air. Normally we come down that way and, uh, and, and you can see that now it's a cliff wall. And the fact that the water is down, uh, we're like 30 percent of, of lake level and there's tens of millions of people relying on this water in the southwest. Um, it's disturbing. The drop in water threatens the largest power source in the region. Hydroelectric power produced at the Glen Canyon Dam is part of a collective that serves 5 million people across six states. 80% of that power is made here. Bob Martin is the deputy power manager. Talk about the noise that we're hearing. What is that? I always say that's the sound of money. The generators generate the power and it comes to this transformer behind us and it's put on these overhead transmission lines. It can go to Phoenix, it can go to Las Vegas, it can go anywhere the, the connections are made. But as the water level drops, it sinks closer to a dangerous threshold. We're about 26 feet, 27 feet around that area of being away from minimum power pool. And that's the point where we can no longer generate power through the turbines. In a proposed plan to stem that, a dam further upstream in Utah would release more water, an agreement made jointly by four states and the Bureau of Reclamation. If approved, 500,000 acre feet of water or 163 billion gallons would flow down to Lake Powell starting May 1st. Is it sustainable in the long term to keep bringing a little bit more water down every year? In my opinion, uh, you know, no, you're spending more than you're making. But without water, energy production will inevitably go down and prices will go up. The precious resource trickling away. How much of this is a, a climate change issue, a usage issue, a population issue? Uh, it's, it's probably all of the above. We can't ignore this any longer. Nature is just not giving us what we used to get, so adjustments have to be made. And that proposed plan to release water from upstream still needs final approval from the Secretary of the Interior. Another plan would actually keep more water here at Lake Powell. It wouldn't be released from this dam, but that would mean less water for places like Arizona and California, where drought restrictions are already in place. Shep. Valerie Castro on a beautiful afternoon in Page, Arizona.